As we celebrate 900 years of the Norbertine Order at Dalesford Abbey, we're taking the time to highlight the saints and blesseds that have shaped the Norbertine Order through our history. These notable Norbertines share a commonality in line with the Order's teaching of common life, common prayer, and community. The Norbertine Order is built on the ideas of life in community, reconciliation, and worship. Dalesford Abbey celebrates and commends the Norbertines before us that exemplified what it is to be a Norbertine in their lives. St. Augustine's teachings laid the foundation St. Norbert used to build the Norbertine Order. St. Norbert founded the Norbertine Order. He was born into a wealthy family, but later gave it all up to spread the Word of God and bring peace to those he encountered. St. Godfrey, born into wealth, gave up his possessions upon meeting St. Norbert and became one of his earliest disciples. St. Frederick, seen as a teacher of youth, brought education to boys and young men. Blessed Hugh of Foss became St. Norbert's right-hand man upon meeting him. He was the first abbot of Premontre. St. Evermode, another early follower of St. Norbert and close disciple, exemplifies friendship and service. He helped spread the gospel to those outside his community. St. Ludolf, a Norbertine bishop, was martyred for his beliefs. St. Hermann Joseph had a strong devotion to Mary and was renowned for his preaching. St. Isfred, a Norbertine bishop and preacher. Saints Adrian and James, known as partners in ministry, were martyred for their Catholic faith. Blessed Rosnata founded a community of men and women. Blessed Gertrude worked tirelessly on the behalf of the poor and the ill. Blessed Bronislava, a Norbertine nun, cared for the poor and the sick. Blessed Pierre Adrienne Toulorge was a truth seeker and truth teller inspired by Saint Norbert. Blessed James Kern served the church and his country in the cause of peace. Saint Gilbert founded the Abbey of Neuf Fontaine and built a hospital for the poor. Saint Gilbert insisted on equal treatment among his peers. All the saints of the order and all Norbertines follow the rule Saint Augustine gave his followers. He was the preeminent champion of combining monastic life with pastoral care.